I have a question for you. When you wake up in the morning and you look yourself in the mirror, is the person looking back at you the person you want to be? Take a good hard look. And if it's no, then my next question is, what are you doing about it? Stop going through life just biding your time. Stop making excuses and blaming others for your mistakes. A challenge cannot be a challenge without the possibility of failure. Don't let fear control your life. Find your strength from within and start now. What's going on YouTube? It's Wes Flair here, aka Mr. Flair Fitness. Um, I just got off of work. Um, just pulled into the gym, so um, I apologize. I haven't had a video out in about a week, uh, a little more than a week. I uh, got a little busy with work and everything. Uh, haven't had a chance to do a, a vlog, but um, today I got done working, so I'm going to do one now for you guys. Uh, today is going to be shoulder day, um, so we're going to do a lot of overhead presses, uh, followed by some accessory uh, exercises, so a lot of uh, side delts, rear delts. Uh, traps so gotta get those big boulder shoulders right there get them traps and everything um <laughs> right now you see me in my work attire uh i'm sipping on my pre-workout here a little bit um give me a little bit more awake um got my change of clothes so the next time you see me guys i'll be in the gym and i'll have my workout uniform on here got my bag and everything ready to go so all right next time you see me i'm gonna be like car kent in the telephone booth ready in three two, one. Boom. What is up, YouTube? Wes Flair, a.k.a. Mr. Flair Fitness, coming at you live from the locker room. Um, just changed into all my gear here. Got the shoes on and all that. Um, finished my pre-workout. Ready to go kill a workout. Um, I went to log in to swipe through the door, and uh, security gave me a little bit of a hassle because um, they thought the gym was closed, and I was like, Hopefully that shit ain't closed because I'm starting to really feel this pre-workout kick in. So um about to go kill this workout. Some shoulders. We're going them delts. Get those Ninja Turtle delts. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, take you through this workout, guys. All right. You know, keep keep hustling. Keep, keep grinding, you know. Just keep trying to get those gains and eat clean, you know, work hard. You know, I just got off work. I'm tired. But you know, you just gotta stay stay hungry and stay at it, alright? So let's go kill this workout. Peace. What's going on YouTube? It's Wes Fleer, aka Mr. Fleer Fitness, coming at you. We're gonna do another commentary of my workout today. Um it's Sunday night, it was around seven o'clock. The gym is pretty dead as you can tell. Um I'm gonna start here showing you guys how to do a um shoulder press with a barbell. The barbell is about probably forty five pounds here, so Basically, you're going to start with pushing off. Keep it kind of on your clavicles there. You want your shoulder, your um, hands to be about shoulder width, maybe a little bit outside shoulder width. And basically, you're just going to keep your glutes tight, keep your core tight, and have a little bit of a wider stance. And you're just going to press, take a big breath in, and then press the whole way up. Squeeze your, uh, your traps, your delts, your shoulders at the top, and then breathe out. Like as you come down to the bottom to the beginning position there. So that's basically it. Um, you know, once you start beginning to add weight, of course it gets he it gets harder and it gets heavier. Um, and you uh, definitely want to be able to keep your balance. This is very taxing on your core. Definitely will build your abs up a lot. So this is definitely great for that. Um, just stretching out there, you can see, trying to keep everything loose. Here's another angle of me doing the same thing, the shoulder press. Um, just from a different angle there, but pretty much that is it guys. So this is what I kind of warm up with to do a couple sets of 10 to 12 to kind of get the blood flowing and then I'll get into my, uh, warm up sets and then working sets. All right. So what you're going to see here is me doing my uh, first working set of three. Um, each set is going to be six reps. Um, I believe this here is about uh, 
85 pounds um, for six. My second set is going to be uh, 90 pounds for six reps. And then my final set is going to be uh, 95 pounds for six plus. So basically what that means is that um, I'm going to get my six reps and then try and push out another couple reps if I can, you know, um, with proper form, of course, and everything like that, making sure my core is tight, um, making sure my legs are in a good stance and my back and my glutes and everything are good to go, make sure I don't compromise my form. Um, I didn't film my... Other uh, warm-up sets, which were 50, 60, and 70 pounds, um, but that's what I did before, and then I uh, ended up getting about eight reps out with the last um, last working set here, which is coming up, I believe, for 95 pounds. I got about eight reps out of them, out of six. So you want about get about two or three, you know, reps extra out of your third, your last set there. Kind of just put everything you got into it. Um, as you can tell, I'm struggling a little bit more, but you want to, you know, struggle a little bit to make sure you grow. You don't want to handle your weight really easily, and because uh, there's no point, you're not going to be growing at all. So, um, it did, and also depends on what program you're on. Since I'm on the Wendler 863, I'm on my second week of four. I'll do one more week of um, lifting heavy, and then the, the fourth week will be my deload week. So, um, definitely felt very good in the shoulder workout today. And especially with the pressing, because pressing could definitely get to your joints and everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the next exercise I'm going to jump into after doing all those pressing movements um, is the side lateral raise, side dumbbell raise, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think I'm starting off light here with just five pounders. Um, what I typically do is um, I'll do two at once. And then I'll individually uh, do each side. So I'll do my left and my right. And then, um, you know, if I have lighter weight, so these five pounders, I'll probably get about 10 to 12 reps for each. Um, then you see here as I'm, you know, a little bit closer to the camera, my form, um, my back is slightly bent, obviously keeping my stomach sucked in and tight and my glutes tight. Um protect that spine and everything especially with having back uh, therapy recently so I'm basically think about bringing your elbow up as high as you can because it doesn't matter where the weight is in your arm if the weight is lower it doesn't matter as long as that elbow is really high in the air to really hit that side delt um, or your lateral delt make sure it pops right at the tops um, and you want to keep your traps and your shoulders down. You don't want to shrug as you come up. Um, as you can see here, if the weight gets heavier and it's harder for you to control or to squeeze at the top, you can kind of do like a cheat where you kind of lose, use a little bit of momentum to get the weight up. And then on the way down, try and fight that uh, deceleration and try and squeeze your delts. Um, this one's really good for, you know, like your delts and your traps and everything like that, your shoulders. Um, it really puts that width on. So from behind, the appearance of you wearing shirts is going to make you look wider. Um, and that's kind of like, you know, most guys probably want to get that V taper where they look wide at the top with the tight waist at the bottom. Um, I also want to get bigger legs, so I'm not trying to get skinny ass legs either, but <laughs> that's beside the point. Um, but one thing uh, you can try and focus on as well is keeping your pinkies up in the air. Um, you know, like Bruno Mars said, keep keep that pinky ring up to the pinky ring up to the moon. <laughs> Just messing with you, but um, yeah, that that's totally true. Um, so then once again, here I'm probably going with the I think I did five tens and fifteens. You know. I'm cheating a little more now here, but as you can tell, I'm still squeezing and contracting at the top. And uh, this definitely felt a great pump in my shoulders. Um, this is the last set, I believe, of doing the singles here. Um, one thing that you can do when you're doing uh, individual work um, is that if you start off with your left shoulder, then go to your right. When you go back to doing the singles again with the higher weight, start off with your right for the first time and then go to your left. Try and mix it up, you know, confuse the body. Don't try and do the same thing all the time or your body's just going to get used to it and uh, 
you know, you got to find new ways to be better and improve yourself. You know, make sure you get that great physique that you want. All right, everybody. Thanks for staying with me. I know this uh, video is a little bit longer, but um, it was a really great workout. And um, definitely some newer material that I want to show, show you guys. So basically, this is your face pull. It's basically what it is. You're taking the rope and you're pulling it to your face. The rope is going to be a little bit higher than your head about. And uh, as you can see from the back view here, it really hitting the rear delts. You want to pull, keep your shoulders down and back, and squeeze your traps, your rear delts, all at the same time. Pretty much your humerus is going to come up into the air. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's a great exercise for your rear delts. And without further ado, the final and last exercise of my shoulder routine. Um, it's I don't know what this is exactly called, but it is a shoulder press. And this one really directly hits your anterior delts on your shoulders. Um, although when you do a lot of pressing movements, they already get a lot of uh, play. But um, I like this one because you can do it single-handed or double-handed. Um, and this also is good for your upper chest. Um, all depends on where you're thinking about hitting and where you're thinking about squeezing while you're doing the moment, the movement. Excuse me. Um, so I believe I'm doing a 10-pounder, a 25, 35, and a 45. Obviously, same rules apply. Um, I'm going to keep my core tight. Um, I'm just bringing the weight down to about my mid to upper chest and trying to involve mostly just all my shoulders um, and just squeezing at the top. Obviously, you can see I'm starting to get red. I'm getting a good pump. Um, <laughs> definitely, you can feel it on this one. Um, you can't see, but I am on my knees because this... I think it's like a T-bar row machine that I'm using, um, but I kind of modified it a little bit. But uh, this one definitely kills your shoulders, so definitely give that one a try if you have it or if your gym is accessible to it. What's up guys, just finished my workout here, shoulders. Um, sorry, I don't mind the toilets in the background, but I'm going to give you a little physique update here. Hit some, some delts tonight. Damn, camera's getting in the way. Crushed them tonight. You can see there. Trying to get them traps bigger, get them shoulders bigger too. Go ahead and take my shirt off here quick. Starting to get a little leaner. Summer's coming up soon. Gotta stay in shape. study this thing but yeah a little, a little bit lose yet gaining some size on the shoulders there we go it was a good workout time to head home eat some food, and uh, call it night, got work tomorrow, so hope y'all have a good one. What is up YouTube? Um, just getting done with my workout here, walking back to my car. It's pretty dark, and it's cold. Hopefully nothing happens to me. Ah! Um, I love you all, my whole uh, 17 subscribers. Love each and every one of you, I appreciate you. Um, if you didn't already, like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, you know all that BS stuff. Help my page grow, um, help get the word out there to all the people to start being more fit, more healthy. Um, yeah, so uh, do all that good stuff on YouTube. Uh, try and inspire people to become more healthy and live better lifestyles. You know, I love doing this stuff, love making these videos. You know, it's just a start, baby. So I'm uh, going to hop into the car here and uh, wish you all the rest of a good night. Uh, I'm going to wake up. Got to go do it all over again. Got to go to work. So, uh, all right, guys. Have a good one. Till next time.